So we want to talk a little bit about how you have all the different time periods. What is the research process like? I mean, how, how difficult is that? Well, you know, the, the trick is, is you don't have a lot of time, right? You know, so as a costume designer, it's kind of your job to know uh, as much as you can about yeah. every period. Um, and then, then, then you have to go in deep. And so something like Paris is a really big deal because it's, it's highly documented and everybody, you know, there's a million gowns on exhibit and patterns have been analyzed. And so you, you know that there's going to be a strict, <laughs> a very strict standard that you're trying to live up to. So sometimes you, you, know, you try to get it right. You hit it about 90% of the time. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get it wrong and people will be happy to point it out to you. But you have to accept that. I mean, you can't get too tweaky about it because what we do, the scale and the scope and the amount of time we have to do it in, you're just, it's, it's not, as Ron is always saying, it's not a documentary. I mean, our goal is to be as accurate as we humanly possibly can. But we're not going to make them by hand. We don't have actual 18th century fabrics. Um, we, but, but, but we aspire to that as much as we can. Um, looking ahead to like season three and knowing that we have more of the American plot coming probably, are there more signature pieces that we can look forward to? I mean like with France you had all these amazing pieces that we've gotten to see. Are there th things that we can look forward to like that similar in the American plot? You know I think that there will always be, because this show changes all the time, and we go from Scotland to Paris and then we go to the Americas, our goal is to suddenly when we have time to think, to go, oh wow, America, what, what are we going to do there? Because we sort of set this standard for ourselves, and so we start exploring, you know, how are we going to make things really specific to that country and to that place. And we have some things up our sleeves. We have a few things that we're really looking at. But, but on the other hand, when you have a season like two, where everything's supposed to be incredibly spectacular, because that's what the story is, in season three, it'll be up to us to kind of step back a little bit. We don't need to be in the limelight the same way we did in two. So we also have to know when to step back. So, but there'll always be something. That's really cool. We really love we're huge fans of the show um, and we love how like your attention to detail and everything is just so perfect and we will always have that we will always do that I mean that's something my team is pretty fanatical about and I'm pretty fanatical about it it, it brings a richness to what's on your screen and, and that's, that's really important to us you're saying it yeah it feels such like an art show like an art yes. show it is I mean it, it is and, and, and that's again what I was saying earlier is the fast fascinating thing of having a team of painters and sculptors and all these kids who are from art school and I went to art school and we all work with, I've been working with Gary for years and years and years and you know it is art, I mean that's what we do and, and so you know, we start exploring you know dye techniques and painting and now we're painting tartans and we're doing all these things because each season brings us a new level of understanding and you know that you kind of get all excited as artists and you go wow, wow we painted all that stuff there, what can we do there, you know, you know it's, otherwise, I think that we just churn it out clothes, you know, and small And along that line, I mean, how much fun is it working with friends and your husband, like, what is that? It's, it's amazing, I mean, you know, I've known Meryl for long, as long as I've known Ron, Gary and I have been best friends for 30 years, the director, John Dahl, who did the pilot, I worked with for 25 years, um, it's shorthand, you know each other, you know how each other thinks that allows you freedom because you don't have to constantly be stopping and starting to go back to, wait a minute, what did you mean? You know what the other person is thinking. So that's, that's really fascinating. It really is. Is there a period that maybe you haven't gotten to design yet that has kind of been a dream for you? That's so, I mean, there's so much. It's so funny because, well, that's Outlander, isn't it? I yeah. mean, in Outlander we're doing, yeah, yeah. you get to do every conceivable period and she's still writing. I don't know. I'm not so excited about doing the 90s. Should we get there? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we're, it's 40s, 50s, 60s. It's it's, it's really an amazing chance. Um, I mean, I love the 40s. I deeply love the 40s, and to get to do those was really, really wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Really a pleasure to meet you.